click the links for Odyssey Beach, you join the channel, become a member, support you on the various other links, or I join the Telegram and Gap. I just want a video. I feel like I'm going to probably be doing a lot of takes of this video before I get something that comes out uh, without, you know, um, but without without violating the toss for Google. So basically, this is about a situation where there's no defense against this and where this is going, because you don't live in a nation, you live in a commercial zone controlled by NGOs. Um, it's not a representative republic. It's a democracy. They keep using that word for a purpose. Like, well, democracy is kind of chaos. You, you want a constitutional representative republic, which we had for a while, um, and then kind of quickly got off the got off the beam on that. So there's no defense for this. There's no stopping this. You can't legislate morality. It's when you have a mixed group of people with different values, when there is no founding core dogma because it was based on this kind of high tra trust uh, assembly of people, well, then the lowest common denominator is going to be the controlling dogma. So you live in a commercial zone, economic zone America, peak Weimar America. Uh, there's, no, there's no defense against this. You can't legislate against this. It's, it's, there's nothing you can do but separate yourself out away from this. Or, you know, do what this is doing, call attention to as much as possible, but also call attention to the solution needed, which is to remove yourself your family uh, away from this into other groups to be around other groups of people who feel similarly uh, with you and then create your own kind of structure where you have a structure where you have an identity group structured around a, uh, a dogma um, because this when like when you're ruled by commercial interests it's like well what what what, what will be uh, acceptable for a dollar if, if you've got a group of people who are like borderline personality disorder or they're missing that that core um essence of humanity to know you know not to do this to, to kids well if you have you have them it's like oh well, well if if the your founding dogma is commercial interests uh, pecuniary ones then you have no dogma you'll do anything for a dollar and so i mean you can extrapolate from where they're going this is what a dark video has turned out to be i mean how do you cover this kind of topic and not uh, yeah of, of course this is <laughs> you're going to live to see man-made horrors oh yeah yeah so Look at what's going on now, and then kind of uh, use your mind's eye to envision the future. So strap yourself in. This is just as horrific as it sounds, if you can look at the, the title. Uh, Disney, Florida, grooming kids. Um, kind of a, you know, you, you get rid of organized religion. Nature abhors a vacuum, and they find something to... Uh, to substitute. So, nature, uh, um, June is an entire month that's dedicated to BLT stuff. As someone pointed out with a meme, like Veterans Day is one day, and uh, <laughs> in June they get an entire month. So, no, there's no fixing this. There's no fixing this within the current structure. So, there's a TV show about 10 year olds becoming drag performers. Okay. Um, what was it? came out last year the FBI did a sting and they caught the CIA who was uh, soliciting children for uh, stuff like this like, oh great at least there's a few honest people in the FBI as that number diminishes uh, year by year so uh, he kind of lays it out brutally honest is one thing you have to understand about Hollywood and the way studios operate is that they are producing questionable content they're doing it for a reason for years the BLT community has claimed no one is after your kids but when Disney went to war against the state of Florida over their parental rights and education law that bans the teaching of this nonsense uh, to children in kindergarten through third grade, I uh, probably should have extended that on uh, more than third grade. <laughs> and really, like I said, there's no solution. You can't have your kids in public. In, it's taxpayer-funded government schools. There's no solution within the system. If you can homeschool or set up small-based micro-schools, uh, you could... That's the that is the only thing that is going to keep you free of this. Where we have two very dirt, divergent Americas, where one is being brainwashed by government school propaganda, controlled by just the worst people on earth, and the other group of Americans are homeschooled or micro community schools, where they're just not teaching this kind of um, Bolshevik propaganda. So the message went from "We're not grooming your children to protect trans kids." So you know, the obvious is what if they're not trans kids? Um, what if, what if uh, we're not protecting something that's already in existence because you're creating something with your brainwashing? 
Is that possible? Would you like to admit the possibility of that? That that's not organic? Nature versus nurture. This is... uh, I think this is nurture. Like all of it. All of it is is nurture. It's brainwashing. Uh, And for the parents, it's Munchkin syndrome by proxy. Uh, They need dopamine, so they're jumping on board this thing. Uh, Is it possible that it's all... It's all like you're just being, uh, you're, it's, you know, something that can do a flower bloom, uh, you know, from 400 years ago and the scan the Dutch flower bloom type of stuff. Is it, I mean, does it feel kind of similar to that? Does it feel like mass, uh, uh, hysteria, mass hypnosis, you know, massive levels of propaganda? Like a, you know, like a Weimar situation where it's like nothing matters. It's like, oh gosh, we're not even there yet if you look at the inflation. But we will be. We will be. So what happens if you print trillions of dollars and they're not backed with anything? Oh, well, you, whatever you create more of that's not backed with anything, then you just devalue it. Oh, okay, good to know. Good to know. So uh, Libs of TikTok has been kind of the forefront of this. Um, and uh, you saw the... the they're, they're, they're showing the videos from TikTok videos, which the teachers are themselves posting. It's not hidden cameras or anything. They put it on... TikTok and Libs of TikTok on Twitter and on Telegram has been just posting those videos. And so they're showing children participating in drag events without the knowledge of their parents. So like, like I say, like, yeah, you can try to legislate some of this stuff in Florida, a few states. It's not going to happen because people like in society, civilization only runs when it, it, there's no garden without a gardener. You have to actively weed out weeds in the garden. Um, you got to attend city council meetings, school boards, and people are like oh, I don't want to be so involved. I just want to elect high trust people, so I don't have to be so involved. Well, weeds, these human weeds, kind of creep into the situation, which is why, like, the only way around this is to remove yourself from the government schools in its entirety. And a lot of private schools are also woke. Catholic schools, less so. Much, much, much less so. Um, but it's really homeschool or micro uh, homeschool, my, you know, like community schools where it's like, okay, listen, we're just going to teach the kids. We're not going to teach any of this kind of nonsense. It's just going to be, you know, what was taught in schools 50 years ago. Just math, history from as neutral a perspective as possible, and and the rest of it, you know, how to conjugate verbs or, or whatnot. You know, how to, how to sound like a reasonably intelligent adult who's able to think through problems you teach them how to think not what to think and schools have completely gotten rid of that concept they're teaching they're out outright teaching kids what to think like there's no there's no two sides to these perspectives of of things it's just it's presented as a a fait accompli it's like here's a conclusion i was like well no no, that's not what schools are supposed to do you're supposed to teach teach kids the issue and then how to argue both sides of the issue and then they reach the conclusion themselves like oh that all ended within the past 20 or 30 years it's openly brainwashing kids and and to be fair brainwashing is only so effective because kids hit 17 or 18 and they're exposed to the alternative opinions on you know all media and they're kind of looking at this and the teachers and this stuff that they're being pushed and some kids are are falling for it and getting brainwashed but a lot of others are uh, going in the opposite direction of pushing back you know being being based so they've got this stuff going on in schools it kind of begs the question why is this in schools at all? Why are you, you have men dressed up as women dancing around children at schools? Uh, not, no, none of it. You shouldn't have women dancing around children at schools or, or men dressed as anything. You shouldn't have adults doing this in schools. Schools are there to teach uh, the basics. Um, in, in fact, as, as it turns out here, a teacher arranged a drag show for students and was later arrested um, for bad acts with kids. Oh, so you're telling me that adults who focus on sexualizing children um, might act out some of those, some of those, those things? Yeah, yeah. What a genius it takes to arrive at that conclusion. You must be way to the right of the bell curve. Oh no, I mean you're focusing on sexualizing kids. It's there's probably going to be some creeps in your organization. To be fair, it's like what do they call those like child beauty pageants or something? You know, if you're looking for people to bust, uh, I would and those things are. F and degenerate. You can get rid of all those things just as well. Um, you probably want to look at the judges of those shows, the people who are hanging out on those shows, people who are attending those shows. Yeah, probably want to focus on those 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 people. I was going to say guys, but apparently you don't have to focus on guys because it's 
men and women. And in fact, uh, I believe more female teachers abuse children in that way than uh, male teachers. So it's a lot of uh, stereotypes we have to wash off in all events. So this is interesting. Translation fucking horrific. So um, in Indiana, a pride event with drag queen forms has been advertised for all ages. They're encouraging kids to bring cash to tip. So, you know, we're not in peak Weimar yet because the inflation isn't there yet, but we're getting there. So, in case you can't read this with this 480, one of these days I'll upgrade this phone. And... So, don't miss the chance to come out and see Dubois County's first ever family friendly drag show at DC Pride in the park. These professional entertainers cannot wait to put on a pride filled show for you all. Tips are not required, but are greatly appreciated by all entertainers. Drag is not cheap, so make sure to bring some cash. The event is open to all ages. Uh, be careful, Bianca. Be careful here. I don't want to have to remake this video, but I feel like I'm about to lose my freaking mind. But I can't edit these videos, and I don't want to remake it. Okay. Okay. Oh, dear God. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck these people. Um, this, you can't continue this. So we're at, we're not at the conclusion stage yet. We're at the, we're at the stage where we have to spread awareness. I want to know what a bullshit cliche, I'm sorry a bit much. I know what a cliche that is, but you can't just present somebody with a conclusion and ask them to act. You have to present them with constant information, constant updates, these constant little news articles. You have to do, put in the full work before you can reach a conclusion. You can't just say, oh, let's have a meetup in real life. Let's have a, have a you know a public we'll have a little barbecue at some park and we'll be like-minded individuals that stuff has you have to build up the footwork first so you have to do these kind of articles if you're thinking about making articles you should probably start with this kind of stuff spread awareness to let people know that there is an issue and then this is the analysis phase of the issue and then you reach conclusion so you got to let people know that this kind of stuff it's all ah, just those people in california right no, I think this is with Indiana or something. Uh, it's, that's all actually happening. Like, that's the thing. It's like, oh, this is all actually happening. And, and we can stop it if we really want to. I, I mean, peaceful, legal, constitutional protected activity. Indiana, huh? Huh. Huh. Anyway, uh, I'm going to lose my mind. So, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, support channel, if you can. And I will see you guys on the next episode.